As I already mentioned in another video, there are no real rules in music. Only tendencies a style tends to do or tends not to do. That's why the title of this video is Why is the parallel fifth frowned upon? And not Why is the parallel fifth forbidden? It is often said that the parallel fifth is bad because it reduces the independency of voices. But for someone who doesn't know classical voice leading, it doesn't really tell much, does it? Let's first take a look at parallel octaves that are equally frowned upon. The reason is that notes one octave apart from each other are, in a way, the same notes. Thus, when in four parts harmony there comes a moment, however short, of a parallel octave, the harmony for that short moment changes into three parts harmony. One voice is lost, thus removing the lost voice's independence. But why exactly are octaves almost the same notes? It is because in the overtone series, the first overtone is an octave, so in terms of harmony, it doesn't make much difference if the note itself or its first overtone is doubled. Of course the sound is different, but harmony, not as much. The second overtone, however, is an octave plus fifth. Thus, it doesn't make much difference in harmony if the second overtone is doubled, or the first overtone, or the note itself. Since the same note in different octaves is, in a way, the same note, it also doesn't make much difference if the two voices are a fifth or an octave plus fifth away from each other. Because of all this, for that short moment when two voices go in parallel fifths, they are pretty much the same voice, just in an unusual setting to produce a certain sound. Thus, when writing X part harmony for that short moment when the parallel fifth happens, the music becomes X minus one part harmony. Keep in mind that this only applies to classical or common practice harmony. In early and modern music, parallel fifths happen all the time, and that is completely fine, since it is the tendency of those particular styles.